Morning, ladies and gentlemen, Bird Dell Warrior here. Hope you are doing well, my sister and brother. Well, happy preparation day. Happy preparation day. And may I ask you, did you take time out to study? Remember, we must study the word. This is a must, must, must. And we know how late it is on planet Earth. And the solution is Jesus Christ. And he states, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. Let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Right now, Father God, I ask to Father God to take full control. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. And I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, scripture reading is coming from James chapter 2, verses 20. James chapter 2, verses 20, and it reads, But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Mm. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. So let's get into our topic today. We are in chapter 13 of Faith and Works. So we are in Faith and Works, hand in hand. And this was the Signs of the Times, July 21st, 1890. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus died to save his people from their sins and Redemption in Christ means to cease the transgressions of the law of God and to be free from every sin. No heart that is stirring with enmity against the law of God is in harmony with Christ, who suffered on Calvary to vindicate and exalt the law before the universe. So those who have bold assumptions of holiness gave proof in this that they do not see themselves in the light of the law. They are spiritual enlightened, and they do not hate or detest every species of selfishness and pride. From their sin-stained lips fall the conflicting utterance, I am holy, I am sinless. Jesus teaches me that if I keep the law, I am fallen from grace. Let me repeat that. Jesus teaches me that if I keep the law, I am fallen from grace. The law is a yoke of bondage. The Lord said, blessed are they that do his commandment, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. We should study the word of God carefully that we may come to right decisions act accordingly and then we shall obey the word and be in harmony with god's holy law so that concludes my topic today faith and work faith and works hand in hand okay so on monday we're going to go into not saved by law nor in disobedience not saved by law nor in disobedience. That will be our topic for Monday. Okay. So let me I share with you my devotion. Let me drink water. I took I this purified water bottle, but I don't do that. I just I couldn't find my water bottle this morning, so I just took the content out of the regular our water bottle and I just put my well water in there. It's better for me. And so here we go. And this is a counsel to women. Counsel to women. It says, a woman will be saved if she persists in faith and love and holiness with modesty. And this is coming from 1 Timothy 2.15. And this was another translation. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this message today, Father God. Continue, Father God, to calm my spirit and my heart and continue to allow the Holy Spirit to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay, it says, there is a higher standard for us to reach. We are not making all the advancement that is in our, that is, let me go back. We are not making all that advancement that it is our duty or our privilege to make. How is it that we use the talent that God has given us in temporal man matters and not in his service? Ought we not to have greater 
interest in eternal things than in those things which concern our temporal wants. We have heard desire expressed that husbands and family should come into the truth, and this is right. It should be a prominent wish, meaning an important wish. But do we do all our duty? Let me go back. But do we do all our duties? Do we make all the advancement that we should? Do we not come far short of our duty in meeting the works of progression? Don't be a spiritual dwarf. We love to see infants and watch their baby ways, but the same ways would be disgusting if retained until the child was two years old. So the Christian must grow, be conformed to Christ, not deformed. Just feel as though you were anchored in Christ. Let me, go, let me repeat that. Just feel as though you were anchored in Christ. Let there be a solidity of the sisters who are alone, meaning, meaning firm. Avoid a frivolous, meaning avoid the lack of seriousness, meaning avoid being joking, and keep constantly watching. The rich blessings, hold on. The rich blessings of heaven are all ready to be showered upon us. Don't be foolish. With too many, all there is to religion is. Let me repeat that. With too many, all there is to religion is. Me and my family. They will not go out of their way to help and bless any others. In such case, God cannot bless them. It is when we are drawn out from self that God blessed us. He wants us to be drawn out from ourself. That which we sow, we will reap. If you sow selfishness, you will reap selfishness. That it, that, let me go back, let me go back. Father God, calm my spirit and my heart. And I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, it says here. If you sow selfishness, you will reap selfishness. That is, you will have it fastened upon you. L let us get out of self and talk of the mercy and the blessings of God. Let all the sisters feel that if they haven't a husband to lean upon, they will lean more heavily upon God. Let me repeat that. Let all the sisters that let all the sister feel that if they haven't a husband to lean upon, they will lean more heavily upon God. Every one of our sisters can be a living missionary and can bring light into every meeting. Do we act as though we are called from darkness into marvelous light? Or as if we were carrying along, along a heavy weight? We must take high, let me go back, go back. We must talk light and pray light, and light will come in. If only sisters in the church will show that God can work through women. It was Mary that first preached a risen Jesus. There are richer blessings for those who have the harder conflict, for Christ is a present help in trouble. We must be divested or deprived of selfishness, be acquainted with the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. And we should thus grow more and more like Jesus till the crown of immort immortality is placed upon our brow. So that concludes my devotion, my sister, my brother. Counsel to women, counsel to women. Okay, counsel to men. So we have a work to do, my sister, my brother. We have a work to do. So here is my hymn, Lord in the Morning. Let me drink some water.
Lord in the morning, Lord in the morning, thou shalt hear my voice ascended high. To thee will I direct my pray, my prayer. To thee lift up mine eyes. Up to the hills where Christ is gone, to plead for all his saints, presenting at his Father's throne our songs and our complaints. O oh, may thy spirit guide my feet in ways of righteousness. May every path of duty straight and plain before my face. Here's the last verse. To men that love and fear thy name shall see their hopes fulfilled. The mighty God will compass them with favor and, let me go back. The mighty God will compass them with favor as a shield. Mm. And I conclude my hymn, Lord in the morning. Lord in the morning, thou shalt hear my voice ascended high. To thee will I direct my prayer. Prayer, to thee lift up thine eyes. Mm. That's a wonderful hymn. So my sister, my brother, so as we know that the Sabbath is from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, so 24 hours always been, and you can read about the Sabbath day. God said that remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. We're talking about the fourth commandment. It is binding from, from the beginning of time, and it was not the Jews. It was that God created the Sabbath from the beginning, okay? From the beginning of time. He created, he rested on the seventh day, on the Saturday, as according to the, the laws of heaven and he rested to give us the example that what we are need to be doing ourselves we need to be resting on the sabbath day i think there's too much lighting there we need to be resting on that sabbath day meaning that we need to keep the sabbath day holy so god gave us six days to do what we want to do but the seventh day is his the seventh day is his and so if you look at exodus Chapter 20, verses 8 to 11, talks about the Sabbath day that we need to keep it whole, my sister and brother. The last conflict on earth is going to be about worship. Who will you worship? God says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And that's Saturday. It was always Saturday. So you need to go and to go to my uh, Uncle Google and Google it and say, who will change the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday? And it will be very clear to you. And that is that the roman system is the one that's controlling everything right now and it's coming a time my sister and brother that you won't have to choose between god's law the fourth commandment whether god says saturday man says sunday okay so you will have to make a decision who will you serve are you going to be obedient to god's law or are you going to be disobedient to his commandments so most people are keeping nine of his commandment and they're missing that one particular part and god says if we are his children we need to keep all of his commandments all of his commandments so my sister and brother the choice is yours you could decide to serve the lord or you could decide to be disobedient Okay, the choice is ours, but each individual will have to search the scripture for themselves. But so if you want more information about the Sabbath, my sister and brother, you can go to Sabbath.org or Sabbathtruth.org. Okay, and it's a, it's a wealth of information. It has all the scriptures that you need to back up why God says what he says. And you know, God says what he says, and God will do what he says. He said Saturday. It was never Sunday. So the decision is yours, my, my brother, my sister. So I pray that you have made your calling and election sure, standing on the winning team. And you know from Genesis to Revelation, who wins? God wins in the end, my sister, battle. My sister, my brother, so as the battle continue, for your soul, for your mind, my sister and brother. May, may each one of us remain faithful until the end. Yes, it's going to get very uh, intense for God's children, but God said that he will never leave us. He will never leave us. He will never leave us or forsake us, my sister and brother. So even though your life might seem to be in shambles, just continue to hold on to the Lord for dear life, and he will see you through, and he will see me through. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this message today, Father God. 
If I have done anything or said anything that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, I ask you, Father God, that you forgive me and make me whiter than snow, Father God. And I promise to do better the next time. Father God, if my sister or brother have done anything against you, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to forgive them, Father God, right now, Father God. And we thank you, Father God. We know that you are God, that you sit high and you look low and you see our individual need, Father God. And you have already dispatched angels to answer our prayer. So, Father God, we'll give you all the praise, the honor, and glory. And we ask you, Father God, to take these empty vessels, Father God. Fill us up with the love, with the power, with the strength to run from sin, Father God. Give us the love that we need for one another, Father God. And we forever give you all the praise, the honor, and glory. In Jesus' name I have prayed, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, so if this was a blessing to you, can you do me a favor? Can you hit the like button? Can you make a comment? Can you hit the share button? No, sharing is caring. Then you can follow me over on YouTube under Burdell Warrior. While you're there, hit the a bell notification hit the subscribe button i'm growing my youtube um, uh, channel and i really appreciate your help for doing that as well my sister and brother and um once you do that then whether you're on facebook or youtube you can give me a thumbs up and you can also make a comment make a comment make a comment and i thank you my sister and brother. thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today may god continue to richly bless you and your family but before you go one more thing may i have a hug here we go one, two, three. I love you, my sister and brother, and happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. You know, it is Sabbath already in some part of the world. So happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, my sister and brother. Happy Sabbath until, uh, until then. Be blessed and take care and have a super awesome weekend as well. Talk to you soon. Take care.